from Yorktown Heights, New York. It's the Cube covering IBM Cloud Innovation Day. Brought to you by IBM. Hi, I'm Peter Burris, and we have wrapped our the Cube's coverage of IBM Innovation Day here at the Thomas J. Watson Research Center in Yorktown Heights. Now, for anybody that's been in the industry for a while, you know that this is one of the meccas of the computing industry. Uh, this is where an enormous number of innovations have taken place. Uh, innovations about re relating to semiconductor processes and you know uh, uh, CPU architectures. Uh, innovations relating to middleware and innovations relating to database management. And very importantly, innovations relating to how customers and companies engage to be more successful with technology. And in many respects, that's really what's happening with the overall drive to cloud, is to bring closer together that invention that takes place and pushes forward what technology can do, and then a delivery model that's focused on ensuring the customers can actually more easily do it. And IBM is absolutely part of that conversation will be going forward, especially as we think about how those high value legacy applications are going to be employed within a cloud context to further drive transaction capabilities with event capabilities in the cloud. We've had some great conversations. We've heard, for example, from uh, Hillary Hunter, who's a CTO here at, uh, on cloud infrastructure, about the new role that Open plays within innovation, how IBM is trying to further leverage that with the Red Hat acquisition. Uh, we've had great conversations with Jason McGee talking about how the developer mindset's evolving in response to some new innovations with cloud. Uh, we've heard all from uh, a number of other individuals, I won't list them all, but if I were to try to summarize the three points that I think kept coming through, it's number one, the cloud does force changes to the way you think about business problems, and methods, tooling, and approaches for doing that are starting to mature very rapidly. Uh, microservices, for, an example, for example, is not just a technology, it's also an approach to thinking about a problem, and that informs everything. I think the second thing that we've heard is that we can't just talk about greenfield applications. We've had this enormous investment in applications that have been running businesses for a long time. Those applications tend to be very stateful. They tend to be very database driven. They tend to be very operational in nature. Those applications have to move forward, if nothing more, from at least from a management standpoint. How can we bring a management mindset, an operating model of the cloud to start to challenge or start to change and evolve how we manage those applications, but ultimately bring new classes of services to those applications. And I think the last one that we've heard over and over and over, that this really is going to require a strong community. We have to take a community approach to invention, we have to take a community approach to innovation, and the social change is required to take advantage of technology and achieve the business outcomes that we want. And if one thing has come through loud and clear through all of the conversations is that, that this year IBM Think, or IBM Think 2019 in San Francisco, is going to be a, a great place to be able to get together with peers and have those conversations and think about the outcomes that enterprises want to achieve and then talk to people that can actually help you get there. And one of the things that I find interesting about Think this year is that the industry is changing we're seeing new roles or evolution of roles and an evolution of how those roles work together and think is actually starting to reflect that. It's manifesting itself itself. There's a couple of campuses, one that's focused more on data and AI, a very, very natural binding or combining, and one that's focused more on infrastructure and cloud. Again, very natural. So I hope to see uh, be able to carry on and continue these conversations that we've had today uh, at IBM Think and hope to see you there as well. So once again, this is Peter Burris. Wikibon, the cube from the IBM, from the, from the illustrious, from the vaunted Thomas J. Watson Research Center in Yorktown Heights. Thanks very much for watching the cube today.